back at the lab. Jordan Moore, Sean Cody, and uh, boy, USC Beach Volleyball's top pair joins us now. What a record, 18-1. and one. Tina Gradina and Abril Bustamante join us. Uh, how's it going, ladies? It's great. Hello. Everything's good. good. First time on the show. We've yeah. definitely... Uh, We've had some great beach volleyball players at the school and on this show in the past. So maybe I'll start there. What, what's it like being at that top court at, at, a, at a school where pretty much everyone that's played on that top court is, has been the best pair in the country at some point? And we, we had Sarah Hughes and Kelly Clays, uh, Kirby Burnham. And we've had some great players uh, on that spot. So you know, what's it like knowing the bar is that high? Um, it's an honor and also a challenge because we want to obviously play the best that we're going to be. But... Um, I think it's it's awesome to have my name next to like all these other incredible athletes. So yeah, it's, it's an honor, honestly. Yeah, for sure. Talk about your guys' chemistry. How did you guys <laughs> come together <laughs> as a team? What is, what sparked this teammate a great camaraderie here? What what happened here? What was the song. what was the spark? <laughs> um, so last year I came in as a freshman. April was a, a s junior. junior. And uh, our coach, she was uh, trying out all kind of different pair-ups. She mixed everything up. And somehow, me and Abril, we just had this, um, I would say, connection in the terms that we understood each other without words. We would, like, look at each other and, like, yeah, it was wow. my fault. or a like symbiotic relationship. <laughs> yeah. yeah and, and, like, I'm a blocker, so I have to feel where my defender is behind me without even uh, seeing him or her. her. And uh, I, I can, <laughs> and I can uh, do that pretty well with the Brill, so it's kind of worked out naturally. How is your relationship different on the court versus off the court? Are you guys always are you the same that that uh, that connected off the court? What how is it different? Well, the connection that we have on and off the court is the same, but we are complete <laughs> opposite people in everything. Our interests, our actions, like everything is opposite, but. I don't know. It just works for us. And the chemistry we have is, like, I feel like it's very transparent when you see us playing on the court. We just, like, feel and, like, get, e get each other really well. And, like, the communication that we have is, like, it's so brutally honest. But we yeah. never take it with, like, we, we're never, like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, it's so brutally honest. But we take it positively, I guess. I guess this is the case of opposites attract. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah. Who are the teams that you guys, when you guys watch uh, ball? Beach volleyball. Who do the teams that you guys like to watch? That maybe you guys talk about to watch film of to model your games after. We, um, I personally don't have one role model that I look after because I just think there are so many great players out there who have like different qualities that they are the best at. And uh, I also look a lot at a lot at the men's volleyball, just in terms of like blocking and everything like that. But uh, strategy-wise, I don't know. We like we take w it one game at a time, and I mean, whoever we're playing is who we watch film on. But to model ourselves, our games after, yeah, like what Tina said, it, it it just depends. Your own unique approach. I like that. Their own game. Well, you know what's cool is you know you're talking about the men's game a little bit, but you're you're also talking about great players in the past. And for whatever reason, USC's always sort of had this rotating cast of these guest coaches on beach volleyball that are like some of the greatest to ever play the <laughs> game. Uh, you guys had Dame Blend before that. I think probably before you guys were here, Misty May had that yeah. role, Mr. Misty May trainer. Now you have Eric Fanoi Moana, another great player. I mean, obviously you have a three-time national champion head coach, which is also nice to work yeah. with. But, but what's it like working with, with something, uh, someone like Eric who, you know, who's played the game at the, at the highest level? It's just ab absolutely insane that <laughs> yeah. I get, like every day he comes to our practices and like I get to like talk to this gold medalist yeah. and he like wants to help us and share his opinions and his thoughts on uh, how we play, how we can play better. And it's just uh, my mom, she came visiting me here and she was absolutely like starstruck to even <laughs> shake his hand. And I was like, yeah, mom, whatever. It's like Eric. Like, yeah, Dane, he's here every day. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, that's like so lucky for us to have them. Mm -hmm. When I watch beach volleyball, I see everyone, you know, got a visor or you go with the yeah. glasses, K-tape, you got some, maybe a <laughs> shoulder wrap. What do you guys, do you guys change up the looks? Or do you have a signature look that you guys go with? Do you stay with the glasses, the visor? What, what is it? I throw my hair up if I didn't sleep in it the night before and I put a visor on. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> but that's her More. signature look. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but that's how people know it's her. Yeah. 
More and a necessity then you, of she's function. glasses. I'm glasses and ponytail. No wiser. I don't understand how you can play with a hat. It's uh, impossible. <laughs> how can you hands it if you have something on your head? <laughs> For that's me, it's uh, like the sun. I, I can't see. The, if that's why have. you wear glasses usually. <laughs> <laughs> so. I don't wear glasses. <laughs> yeah. When I was growing up, you remember Sinjin Smith? He used to have the vi- he used to have the hat and yeah. he would pop it up. Yep, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. That was a look. That was a good look. No <laughs> K-tape back then, though. K-tape no. is big now. They get those things wrapped big, up now. Cupping's big now. You guys, you guys do cupping? Get those big circles on your back? No. See that all over what volleyball. Is what does that do? You haven't done that? I haven't I done know. that. It's like it's a recovery <laughs> medicine process. thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, you have a big match coming up on Wednesday. That you're, you're headed to go see the Bruins. What, what's the rivalry, rivalry like on the beach? You guys uh, kicking sand at each other under the net? What, what's it like? Uh, you see a lot of UCLA. Uh, yeah, we do. On, on the beach. We obviously try to keep it classy, but the rivalry <laughs> is, is definitely there. I mean, they're ranked first. We're ranked second. So, I mean, there's nothing I know our team wants more they than got you at our place. Yeah. yeah. But that wasn't fun. No. Across the street. <laughs> <laughs> you guys won your match. Yeah. Yeah. Team but it, team Doesn't effort. Count. Yeah. Doesn't count. What's the, what, what do you need to do to get over that hump against them on Wednesday? That's a good question. Yes. But obviously, like, what we've been saying and what coach or coach has been saying to us, that our best is better than anybody else's. So it's just a matter of, like, how, how consistent we can play and keep those errors out of our game. And, and, and it, it, it never happens. You always have some of those errors. So it's how well you just deal with them. And uh, it's going to be a very tough matchup because UCLA is very scrappy. They, they like to run around. It's going to be their sand. And, and they want to beat us. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, it's, uh, the pressure is on them to keep their number one spot. We don't have anything to lose. We're not going to fall out, down. Yeah. We are second. So we're going to definitely go in with a clean slate, like just happy to be there, happy to be beat them so yeah mm-hmm. i always wondered about the relationship between indoor volleyball and outdoor and beach volleyball is there a, is there a rivalry there I, I had a daughter who played both and it's two different worlds i mean you, you're inside of a gym and whistles and uh, it's intense and beach seems a little more like oh, all right let's be having a good time that's everyone's like, boom she's mad. yeah all right it's two different worlds like music is there playing like a, on the beach yeah, yeah. Like, is, like a, there. is there like a how's the interaction between indoor and outdoor there's no rivalry, I don't think at all. I mean, am I creating a rivalry? I'm trying no. to. <laughs> there, there is no rivalry, but at the same time, us beach volleyball players really want people to acknowledge that it's a completely different yeah. sport. That like we, you can't interchange players between the two, and uh, we, uh, we uh, the volleyball has the same federation uh, in the U.S. So. Uh, that sometimes creates a little problems because those, like, even though they both are volleyball, they, they, they're the culture, two completely different sports. Yeah, so that's where sometimes the if there is the rivalry, it comes. Well, if you haven't been right behind us at Merle Norman Stadium, it's one of the most uh, fun. Great to watch. Yeah, one of the most fun sports to watch in a, in a great little uh, stadium we have here on campus. So come on down. Women's volleyball, uh, beach volleyball team number two in the nation and certainly in pursuit of a national championship with these two ladies at the top of it. Tina Gradina, uh, April Bustamante, thank you so much for joining us on Trojans you. Live. We'll back to wrap it up with Sean next.